Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that bell and everything else. So, I'm going to try to explain to you guys this unit pricing. I was trying to explain it in the last video in part 2, but I'm like, you know what, we'll just do part 3 with this. So, it says unit pricing. Why is it important to understand and know unit pricing? Get the most per stuff for your money. Get the best price, save money, stay on your budget. How to calculate unit pricing. Cost of item, quality of item equals unit pricing. Example. $2.99 per pound, 5 pounds of apples equals 60 cents per pound. So you divide. So you'll take the price, whatever the price is, say $2.99. And then you take the five pounds of apples, I think. I think. I haven't done it in a while. Here, let's see. Oh, I can't remember. Well, wait a couple minutes. But like, yeah, you have to divide the price and then on the shelf in the stores, like at Meijer or Walmart or um, something like that, then you have the, you have like two tags on the shelf there. On each there's a lot of tags and there's the big one and then there's a smaller one sometimes and so you look at both of them and then you divide what numbers you need to divide by and so you take the unit pricing or the the price of the normal one, so like, say if I wanted to read my book, my Michigan Chiller book, but I don't have the whatever number, and they're like five dollars ninety nine cents, I think, or four ninety nine. I would have to check. So just say four ninety nine. I, they're probably five ninety nine, but well, actually, we'll do five ninety nine. So five ninety nine for a book. So you take that price, and then you take the smaller, like the smaller tag, if there is, or sometimes it will tell you on the same tag as the bigger number, and so then you take that other number the per pound or um whatever it is then you divide it by that number and so it's a little tricky, but once you get a hang of it, then you can get the hang of it. And then here's a, this right here. And if you like to use one of these, you can. Instead of like your phone, your laptop, or whatever. Well, some people like to use their laptop and 
put in like their money stuff. I just say that because it's hard to say. So like food, so say you're on a budget and that's one way you can do is unit pricing. And say like food, a hundred dollars daily for like a week or a month actually. I think a month is a hundred. Well, it depends how many people are in your family actually. If you have probably more, it's probably more food and more money you spend. So, okay, maybe I'll bring it up about $300 worth of food. And then daily expenses is like $100. Housing and rent to who? Electric to who? So you're like paying it, but to who? There are different... people that will give it to friends or family or um yeah it's just crazy so there's gas there's phone there's cable tv internet but they all said to who and then transportation like if you're gonna take a cab or a friend or a family, and maybe you want to pay them for gas money. Um, you know, just things like that. Medical um, money, clothes, clothes, like t-shirts and pants, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Entertainment, like TV and. Um, like some extra stuff like Xbox and you don't need your need Xboxes and Playstations and stuff. Those are like a must, not a must have. Those are like a wants. The needs is like medical, food, house, water and stuff like that. Like, and, like, extra stuff, like, I was explaining that to you guys. That was number 12. How much is your monthly take-home salary, or SSI? And then you write it down. And do not, do not tell anyone your banking numbers, your SSI numbers, anything. Do not. Uh-uh. Do not. Because you can get hacked and stuff like that. People can take your money. How else do you contribute as a roommate? So if you have a roommate, I know a lot of college students have a roommate sometimes, not all the time, but now this year I think it might be a little bit different for some college students, and some college students have a roommate, at least one roommate, and so then you guys can split the um, rent and just stuff like that. And then what happens if you do not contribute, what are your consequences? Do you lose an activity, transportation, or item, or more? So that's just like, you know, whatever. I like using these right here, the grocery list, shopping list. 
and it says kitchen. So whatever I need to add to kitchen, I can add to the kitchen section. But I also use um a line piece of paper or some kind of piece of paper and I'll put kitchen and then or just make a whole list and go through each category. So like kitchen say food but what kind of food you know but that's like underneath food too unless a kitchen could be if your refrigerator broke down or freezer broke down or um say you needed washcloth for the kitchen or towels for the kitchen then you can write that down but if you're on but on a tight budget the dollar store is there for you but not all the time though um, you can find sales, you can find garage sales everywhere in the springtime and the summertime. Maybe the fall, maybe, I oh, don't think the winter. I haven't seen anything in the winter. General home, like your home, like what do you still need to buy? Like anything with eye care, bath and body products, bathroom stuff, face and skin care, laundry, hair and grooming products, food, food, food. There's like three things of food. And drinks, medical, hygiene products, cleaning supplies, and other. And you can put them all on this. Oh, that's... And so then you can put them on here. Or on a different paper. Or you can do it on a computer. And then print it out. You can do it that way too. Whatever works for you. Everyone is different though because not everyone does it on their computer and not everyone does it on paper or on their phone or something. Some people will do it on their phone and some people do it on their computer or whatever. You know? Mm. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that bell. We'll see you all next time. Bye.